Hey guys, it's Kip from Famous by Friday Pickleball. Got a brand new paddle to review, the new Diadem Edge. Diadem's made some cool paddles in the past. I really love the original Icon. The original Warrior was a really good paddle. The original Diadem Warrior Edge was a pretty good paddle. It needed a little bit of weight and it kind of came to life. It's a pretty good paddle. And so Diadem started replacing some of these paddles. They've had the Icon 2, the Warrior V2, if I remember right. And now comes along the Diadem Edge. The, this paddle has some of the same structural features as their original Diadem Warrior Edge. It is a 16 millimeter paddle, 16 millimeter polypropylene honeycomb core. With, it is 16.4 inches tall, 7.5 inches wide. It's got a five and three eighths inch handle that has a four and an eighth inch circumference. It is eight ounces, feels very nice, evenly balanced. The one big upgrade and change to the new Warrior Edge is the 18K 3D carbon fiber surface. This is a triaxial weave of carbon, three interwoven yarns at 60 degree angles Diadem believes this is going to just make mad spin. Very anxious to get out and find out if that's true. I just, it could be a really cool paddle. I love the looks at, of it. It is very nice. You're only going to know this paddle, especially out in the sun, you're going to know this paddle immediately. It really looks cool. All right, I, I'm very excited to get out and hit this. Headed to the courts right now. I hope you're out there. You'll get to hit the new Diadem Edge. All right, I'll be back.
Hey guys, I'm back. Just spent the last few weeks with the new Diadem Edge. If you played with the previous Diadem Warrior Edge, the paddles are very similar. They do a lot of the same things. I would almost go identical up to a point. This paddle would also benefit from a little weight to make it really come alive. But even without the weight, it is consistent, it is accurate, it's a good defensive paddle. You can turn it into offense. It has nice feel, nice feedback, great sweet spot. It's evenly balanced. It really, it really does a lot of things well. The looks are great, the new tech is great. I really like this paddle. The one thing that it does do, and Diadem says this, is with the new 3D 18K carbon fiber surface, this paddle just spins like mad. It really, it, it spins really, really, really spins. So that means it's got dwell time combined with this surface. If you're a spin enthusiast, you might want to check this paddle out. It really grabs a ball. Now, the things it doesn't do well are very similar to the original Warrior Edge. This kind of has a hollow feel. So, it almost would benefit from a little more mass. It really sounds hollow even when the ball hits it. And for a $229 US paddle, just the hollow sound. Once again, that comes back to, we all have personal preferences on how the ball sounds coming off the paddle. This has a hollow feel and a hollow sound. Also, the power is on the lower end of the scale. I think the, uh, the average Serving speed was 46.2 miles per hour. That is on the lower end. It's not low, but it's on the lower end of what even would be average. It doesn't have a lot of power. Once again, a little bit of weight would help that. Now, what I think this paddle would really, really benefit from, and I think it would make it just all world, is if you went a little more modern technology. If you did the thermoforming, if you did the foam around the edges, if you went with a unibody structure, I think this paddle could be gold with this surface. Also, that would take away that hollow feel and add a little more power. I think if you did that to this paddle, just those kind of modern technology traits, this paddle would just come alive. I, I really think Diadem's onto something. I'm kind of anxious to see what they might do next. But that would be my recommendation for this paddle. The surface is very cool. What they did with the this kind of woven, interwoven yarns and uh, the 60 degree angles, not only does it look awesome, but it really grabs the ball and it really spins it. If you put that with just a little bit of pop and a little bit more feel, this paddle would be gold. I'd love to hear if you guys tried this, if you played with the original Warrior Edge and then went to this paddle, kind of what your thoughts are, what how you feel about this paddle, and if you've got it in your bag, it will probably not go in mine, but if they updated it with those things, I, it definitely could. It's a it's, it's good paddle, but it could be great. So, all right guys, as always, hit like, hit subscribe, leave me a comment. I'll be back with more content soon. Okay, the new Diadem Edge. All right, guys, thanks for stopping by. It is in the sun, it really looks cool. Their, their next move will be to make that paddle in three different colors. Yes. I mean, Great point. Pink, dollies, yeah. yeah. We'll be like, ooh, a purple version. Almost, okay. It's pretty forgiving. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna pretty much and we all have a picture.